my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2012. I'm sitting down with Sebastian Blaze. <laughs> Tail, excuse me, please, Dale, which I'm laughing because I just asked you about 10 seconds ago and I immediately left my brain again. <laughs> my apologies. I know, I know. And you brought us a new Pegasus Spiel game right. called We Will Walk You. Exactly, yes. <laughs> the idea is that here's up um, in the Mock Walk Music Club Festival and you're trying to make some dishes for the various pals to consume and eat. And you're trying to do it the best. The aim of the game is to get some of these wok dishes sorted out. They're various types. This one here is of, um, uh, it's a covered wok dish. Doesn't need any further ingredients. Gives you 10 points if you get it. And, but these ones here require particular ingredients to be added to it. So this one here, each of the broccolis which you add in gives you two points. Each of the tunas you add in gives you one point. This one here requires three sets of Freddy broccolis to come in. <laughs> and some, a few more king prawns. There, this one here requires one of each, and this one requires sets of three. Okay. Right. Any set though. Any set of three, yes. Each of those you can stick in multiple times, so if you've got 20 broccoli to stick in there, first of all you've been cheating, but secondly you get 40 points. <laughs> in addition, you've got a couple more things here which kind of change things about a bit. So for example, this person here can change any block dish which you gather into a covered block, which is worth 12 points, and this one here can amend the points which you get, so this one properly goes down in value to only one, but, but Tina's tuna. top tuna. value for five. T tuna, t tuna, uh, tuna, tuna, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> now, switching back to the actual main part of the game, All right. how do you get these ingredients? Well, uh, so you've got three things you can do in your turn. The first thing, you've got set a hand of money and possibly ingredients later on. And the first thing you do is you decide whether you want to buy at the current price or whether you don't. At the moment, we've only got three money. The prices are four and six, so therefore, mm. clearly you won't be able to afford anything. So one thing I can do is I can just take a coin, stick into my hand. That's changing the price, though. That changes the price. That changes how much money I've got. Let's say nobody else is playing, and it comes around to me. Another thing I can do is I can immediately pay the three money which is there and take one of the rows of cards. Ah, that's changing the price again. Changing the price again. It's double the price, but and some more things come up there. The third thing you can do in your turn is you can take any cards which have got some matching symbols. For matching symbols, you can play face down in front of you, and it allows you to take a card for your desire. So, for example, I can take this card here. Suddenly, I've got 10 points. Uh, it's, I can't place these cards again, but they can still be used in scoring later on in the game. Okay. So, for example, at the end of the game, uh, I've managed to amass, let's see, um, these ones here and a number of extras of the ingredients cards. I can play both cards from the hand in which I've played onto the table into the rocks which I've gathered. So for example, in this case, I can place the Gina Tuno into here. I can play, sorry, this is part of the pile. Okay. Elvis the King Paul can pop into there. If I've got enough carrots and enough tunas, then I can place this into here, add up all the points, and then the person who's got most points wins. Easy enough. It's now, simple as that. just because I, I, know we, we, I know with such fabulous puns, that we have to give a little a little screen time to each of these. So we've got Chick Chick in Jagger, <laughs> Mariah Carrot, <laughs> Elvis the King Prawn. We already looked at uh, Freddie Broccoli. Who have you got in your hand? I've got Tina Tuna, and I think those are the six. Oh, okay. oh, um, I kind of got most of them. You did. <laughs> yep. Well played. Now, how many does this play for? This plays two to four players. You can adjust slightly the numbers of the rocks and the number of cards in the deck, but apart from that, all plays exactly the same. And about how long would a game take you? Um, 20 to 30 minutes. And it's certainly not much longer than it took to teach me, I'm sure. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> well, you've got most of the details there. I've deliberately chased the, the rocks to place out there, so you've got a good variety of them. Easy enough. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, thank you, Sebastian, for showing us. We will walk you. <laughs> good to see you.